Hello, Creative Sambers. I'm so sorry I was late. Ah, <laughs> um, I hope I haven't lost all of you who are waiting. Uh, it is 7.35 uh, and um, I'm almost ready. <laughs> I was in the middle of getting uh, some last minute things done, but it is, I'm ready now. I am ready. <laughs> my room is a little messy, but that's okay. There's Luana. Hello. Oh my gosh. So um, where's my paper with everything I need to remember? Um, okay, here we go. Uh, so how many of you have purchased specialty paper, like our holographic paper, and then not used it because you really couldn't there was, you couldn't come up with a cute idea or you weren't sure how to use it. Um, and so it's just, you knew you liked it, but you didn't know what to do with it. So that is what we're doing today. We're going to use the holographic paper. I'm going to show you three different ways to use it. And I'm really hoping that this is going to be helpful to you guys. So you guys will use your specialty paper. Now, if it's not holographic, it still works for um, any kind of a designer type paper. And there's the cat. And yes, Merlin. Hello. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Hello, you guys. Oh, thank you all so much for showing up this evening. Um, we have Luana in the house, Ta uh, Tanya, Tanya, uh, Colleen, um, Alda, or Alda, Linda, Tony, Rosie, Judy, Carol, Ann, Brenda, Nicole. Hello. Hello. And, uh, Anne Marie is from Canada. Hello. And Brenda right next door in North Dakota. <laughs> oh, kind of wish it was like that up here, uh, down here. It is 102 here in Texas. <laughs> so needless to say, oh yeah, y'all can have a good view of Merlin. He's decided he's going to show up for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how much trouble he gets in. <laughs> Okay. Um, I haven't even set up my phone camera yet. So hold on. Give me a couple of seconds to get that done. Now, um, while I'm doing that, I want to remind you all, remember, we have one week left of bonus days. Now, what is bonus days? Bonus days is where you spend $50 and you get a $5 coupon to use in August and you can collect them. You can get as many as you want. Um, in, in increments of 50, you get five for every 50. Now for me, my little host code up there, um, when you purchase 50 or more, um, I send you a thank you gift. So uh, you get double, you get a coupon and you get a thank you gift. So that is what is going on. All right, I have my camera up. Let me uh, put that in the thing here. Okay, and share the camera. Oh, hey. Oh, he is just wanting to be a part of everything, isn't he? Oh, you are being too cute, Merlin. Too cute. Y'all want to see him? Here he is. Merlin, you can't stay there. We're going to do some stamping. Yeah? You don't understand? What is the stamping you talk of? <laughs> I'm afraid he's going to get his little paws inky. Yeah. Come on. Go on down. <laughs> All right, let's get that straightened out. There we go. And let's zoom it in a little bit. There we go. Oh, and we need to pull the paper over some. There we go. Okay, we're set there. Um, oh, Mallory, yes. <clears throat> you all, if you're demonstrators, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are a demonstrator, tomorrow we are uh, combining the two websites. Demonstrators have had a separate website called my.stampinup.com and customers have just been on stampinup.com. All right. They're combining the two. So all you have to do tomorrow is make sure that both accounts are active and you have the password for both of them so that when you go through the prompts, you, everything is working. So tonight, check it out. Make sure you can log on to your demonstrator website and make sure you can log on to your regstampinup.com customer website, uh, you as a personal customer to yourself. All right. Um, I can talk about that more uh, later, but uh, uh, Mallory had just asked that question. So, all right, let's get on with tonight's lesson. Tonight's lesson, we are working with the holographic paper. Now, if you all have not seen the holographic paper, isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. It's just rainbows. And then this one kind of has like a, I don't know, 
it comes, it's a part of the uh, star, the space uh, suite that we have. So the planets and the astronauts. And so I kind of thought this looked like a meteor shower or something. I thought that looked cool. And then this one is, it looks uh, berry burst, but when you tilt it, it looks blue. Um, you can't really see the berry burst very well here under these lights, but um, that's what we're going to use it with the berry burst. So I'm going to show you three different ways, total different ways to use this. And I'm noticing my camera is a bit off here. Hold on. It's like tilted. Yes, Merlin, I hear you, darling. There we go. Okay. So to do this, what are we going to do first? Our first technique, we're going to do wet embossing. All right. So we're going to get embossing paste. How many of you, uh, raise your hand or uh, tell us in the comments, use the embossing paste? All right. It's kind of a white, um, thick paste. <laughs> That's all it is. And then what you do is you use it with these decorative masks. Okay. So let me get out all the stuff we need to do. This is our first step. The first thing you're going to want when working with embossing paste is a silicone mat. That way, if it, or, you know, some paper that you don't mind getting yucky, but a silicone mat, um, the paste will just rub off. See, there's some paste right there and it just rubs right off. It's silicone mats are awesome. Nothing sticks, nothing sticky sticks to them. <laughs> Okay. Katie says she's used it in a class one time. Good, good. Susan's used it. All right. And Tracy, awesome. Uh, okay. And Tanya, Tanya says too messy for her. All right. Too messy for her. So I am pulling out. Well, I had it. Okay. Come on. Isn't that great? I'm all ready. And then I'm not ready. Oh, come on. Where did I put it? No, maybe it's right in front of me. No, did I put it back? No. Oh, fiddle dee, where are you? Oh. Shoot. No, I can't do this lesson if I don't have it. Come on. Oh, I know. I left it in the bathroom where I had to wash it off. Okay, hold on. All right. Yeah. As soon as you finish using it, you've got to wash it off. Um, you can kind of see where it's a little bit still on there, but you don't want it to um, to stick to this too long or it's really hard to get off because it's not silicone. It's just plastic. All right. So then you need um, we're going to use the plain silver. No, no decorative stuff to it. It's just plain flat holographic paper. OK. And then we're going to put our stencil on top. And if you want to know what stencils, these are the artistic mix stencils. And there are different kinds in here. Let me show you all the different kinds. There we go. We have this really pretty one. Whoops, you can't see it very well. There we go. And then we have, I love this one. This one I think is my favorite for doing um, ink, uh, blending ink on, making that uh, plaid in the background. Now this one is kind of fun. It's got different blocks. And then these two shapes um, are fun also. Now, these are good for ink brushing, the, the blender brush also. All right, so those are our different uh, masks. And I have out this kind of a flowery one. I don't know. Now, I don't want this to move at all. So I am going to use some washi tape. Um, this is a silicone mat, which, like I said, adhesive doesn't stick to silicone mat. But um, it, it'll hold for a little bit. All right, hold on. I'm trying to get my washi tape from back here. There we go. Okay, it'll hold for just enough while we're doing the, and I'm lining up these flowers along the edge of my paper. And like I said, you can use, you don't have to use just regular, you don't have to use the holographic. If you've got any specialty paper, any paper at all, actually, you, you can do this, but um, I like it because it has that rainbow in the back. All right, let's get out our, our paste here, okay? And we have two different kinds. We have a shimmery white, and we have um, uh, just a matte, just a white matte. All right, and then I need my spatula. You need a spatula, okay? And we sell these too. And you just get yourself some and just spread it out and just start spreading and just spread and spread. 
It's like icing a cake. Okay. And you can just like make the edge of the knife, scrape it off. And so that it'll be in there. And then if you have too much, just scrape it back into the bottle. Okay. I can see where I missed down there. There we go. All right. Okay, so see, that wasn't too messy. Ta-da! All done. <laughs> now, what you do have to do, though, is if you're going to use this, you need to wait for it to dry. Um, you need to wait for it to dry. I'm going to go ahead and lift it up, though, so you can see what it looks like. Cool, huh? <laughs> and like I said, I already did one earlier, so I've got it already done. I'm just going to put this over here. And then I'm going to have to wash this. I'll have to wash this off right away after I finish my video with you guys. So, but to keep it from getting on anything, I'll put it up there. There we go. All right. So like I said, I've already done it. And what I'm doing with it now, I took, I took the shapes here and I cut mine out in a shape. So I took the largest of the countryside corners and I cut out the shape. Isn't that just so gorgeous? I love rainbows. All right. So that's that part. Now, like I said, if you can't see it very well, it seems like on the film, it's really doing a red, but that looks uh, berry burst to me. And so I got the berry burst uh, cardstock here. And we're going to make a landscape card. All right. Don't forget, if you have a question, put a question mark with it so I can find it. I'm going to scroll up real quick, make sure I haven't missed any questions. Nope. No questions so far. <laughs> yes, it is bright paper, isn't it? All right. So I have this. Now, what is my next thing I want to do? My next thing I want to do is a sentiment, but I'm going to have, I'm going to heat emboss it because I want it to be in white. So I'm going to put this over to the side for just a sec and I need my embossing buddy and we're using the layering leaves. Oh, and, and, um, hold, keep watching. I know a lot of people think, you know, after I finish making the card, they tune off, but I have two other cards that are different using the holographic car, uh, paper. So I want you to see those. So, so don't leave me yet. All right. And I've got my this Versa Mark ink. This is how you do heat embossing. You need Versa Mark ink. This Versa Mark ink, and it, all it is is a clear, sticky ink. All right, and we're going to put this on here, just like that. Okay, and then now be sure you close this before you get your powder out, because your powder will get in your uh, pad, and you don't want that to happen. Um, all right, here we go. And you just sprinkle that on there. Cool, huh? <laughs> but it's not done. You got to heat emboss it. You got to heat it to set it. So you need your heat gun. And hold on. And we also have this fancy tool um, in our embossing kit. In that fancy, <laughs> so I don't burn my fingers. All right, and then I just keep my gun plugged in over here. And it only takes a second. Get it kind of hot. And as soon as you see the powder turn to shiny, you know it's working. All right, I'm still got, here we go. It's starting to turn. Okay, there we go. And kind of tilt it in the light. Make sure it's all shiny. Okay. Nope, the H still needs some. Nope, the S still needs some. Come on. There we go. Okay. That was fast. All right, so we're all done with that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, since I'm using layering leaves, I've got the punch out. So this is the layering leaves punch and the layering leaves stamp set. And I did the sending hugs. I um, stamped a couple of these out with... Um, pretty peacock that I saw the pretty peacock in the, like I said, this, it doesn't seem like it's pretty peacock on my camera, but it is. 
oh, <laughs> at least it is for me. I don't know. Whatever color. And then some berry burst roses and some of those. And then also I wanted to do just a couple of um, berry burst roses here in the solid. Let me do that. There we go. Okay, so we've got that done. And we've got this. All right, what are we going to do? So we're going to take our sending hugs and we're going to um, layer all these leaves behind it. So first I want, which one do I want first? Let's get one of these leaves and we'll put it right here. So I need to put some tape on the back. And um, if you all are ever like going, oh, I can never layer right. Well, you all watch. I'm going to show you a ways to layer. All right. So I'm, I'm taking, so you have small and large. Um, you don't want too much of your small behind your large um, or it'll get lost, but you can have some. So we're going to put this one here. All right. So that's stuck on there. And then we're going to take one of the roses and put that right there. Okay. I'm getting enough. Yeah. It's sticky. And I'm going to pop that rose on top of that one. All right. So far, so good. Um, then we will put another leaf back here. Okay. And then finally, we'll put a dark one back here also. Um, I'm running out of sticky. Not a problem. I can add some stick to this. Come on. And then when I attach this down, I'll make sure all that's glued. Now, I want to put some down at the bottom, down here in the corner. And we're going to put this one first. Okay, do I have enough sticky? Yep, got plenty of sticky. And then this one, kind of like that. And then this one back here like that. All right, make sure that, had nope, see so it doesn't have anything to stick on. Ah, so put some more sticky on there. There we go. And just stick that in there like that. All right, so now we've got all that layered. Okay, so we have the nice big pieces and some of these little pieces. All right, I like it. This is going to go on here like this, but I want to put it up on dimensionals. So let's get some dimensionals out. How are we doing? Are you guys still with me? Oh, thank you so much, Becky, for sharing. It always helps. Yeah. And if you all enjoy these videos, um, I never ask, but um, just, you know, make sure you like it and um, uh, share it with your friends. Um, of course, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I also encourage you to do that. I uh, I put out three videos a week, so there's plenty to watch on my show. Uh, Mondays, I do these techniques. T uh, Wednesdays, I do card challenges, which I hope all of you are working on your card challenge. I believe it's the color yellow right now. I never can remember what my challenge is for the week because I change it. Now, I'm going to put this right here in the corner like that. Okay. How's that look? Does that look nice? That looks nice. And then we're going to pop this up on here like this. Okay. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Okay. And I dropped my dimensionals. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Where are you, dimensionals? There you are. Okay. And there we go. And one in the middle for good luck. <laughs> it's like birthday spankings, right? And one to grow on. All right. And then that just goes in the center like that. Whoops. In the center. Is that pretty good? Yeah. Yay. And we are done. So the first technique I taught you all with this specialty holographic paper is to use embossing paste on it. Okay. That's the first way. Y'all like that way? Awesome. Okay, so you like that way. What are my other ways? My other ways are, dun, da, da, dun. oh, you know what? I forgot some bling. We'll put some bling on there in just a minute. Here we go. These are my other ways. The other way is instead of wet embossing, 
How about we dry emboss? Can you all see the cascading um, ruffles there? There, you can see the cascading ruffles there. All right, and that is using, a, a fussy cut the planets out of the paper. And then this is from, oh, what stamp set is this? Wonderful Thoughts. You can do amazing things. And I just heat embossed silver on black. Then I used, notice this um, sweet sorbet glitter ribbon. It matches berry burst. So if you all were saying, oh, I don't, you know, that, that ribbon, I don't know what to use it with. Well, there you go. You can use it with berry burst. And I put a black twine in there also. So that is your second way. So first way is wet embossing. Second way is dry embossing. Okay. And the third way to use it is with cutouts. And I used word art here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There's the rainbow effect. Now I use the berry burst um, holographic paper behind here, along with the silver holographic and the stars are done in the holographic. Okay. And I just used the um, stargazing paper there and some silver twine or not twine, ribbon trim. So those are your three different ways to use your holographic paper. And like I said, I hope this video, I hope all of my videos are uh, helpful for you guys. Um, and the only way I'll know that if you let me know. So um, share it, like it. Um, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. You all the best. I This is my favorite thing. I have the best job in the world. I get to teach you all how to make cards and it is so fun. And it's so fun reading your comments and um, saying hello to you all over the world. That's what's so cool. All over the world. Let's see if we've got someone really far away. I know I saw Canada earlier. Do I have any Australians tonight or um, people over in England, Ireland? Germany, anywhere over there. The Netherlands. The Netherlands is pretty far. Yeah, not seeing any. Oh, Colleen said, hello, Merlin. All right. I'm not seeing any other questions either. North Carolina, Canada, Arkansas, Minnesota, Southeast Texas. Hey, Judy from Southeast Texas. <laughs> Southeast Texas. I went to um, Southeast Texas. I'm thinking uh, Nacogdoches. Uh, I went to Stephen F. Austin State University and did my student teaching in Lufkin. I don't know if that's where you are, but anyways, no, nope, I don't see anybody too far away tonight. That's all right. That's all right. You all have a blessed evening and I will see y'all Wednesday morning. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>